But turning now back to legal trouble with Mr. Trump. The judge in former President Trump's election interference probe is set to make a decision about what Mr. Trump is allowed to say in public about the case. U.S. District Court Judge Tanya Chutkin said Monday that she would hold a hearing on dueling proposals. Now, prosecutors are calling for a broad protective order aimed at preventing evidence from being disclosed, saying that they want to keep Mr. Trump from trying the case in the media. It comes after he posted to Truth Social on Friday, if you go after me, I'm coming after you. But attorneys for the former president say an order like that would violate Mr. Trump's First Amendment rights. They're calling for a more limited order that would only block sensitive material like grand jury documents, saying that President Biden himself posted to social media ahead of last week's indictment, selling a coffee mug as part of a fundraiser. Judge Hutchkin said she will make a decision soon and that Mr. Trump will not have to be present for that. Joining me now to break it all down is Jesse Weber, News Nation legal contributor and anchor at the Law and Crime Network. Jesse, thank you so much for being here. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. Jesse, let's jump right on into this because I know a lot of people at home are asking, wait a minute, protective order. I thought that had something to do more with domestic cases, not necessarily mm. the case. Protective orders are fairly common in criminal cases as well, correct? Yeah, it's just about what information the defense is receiving, sensitive material evidence, and that can't be discussed publicly. And that makes sense. Um, this is not a gag order. This is not saying that Trump cannot talk about this case or defend himself in the media or criticize it. It just becomes a question of when he gets access and his team gets access to all of the evidence that's being presented in this case, what can he disclose? And I think on one hand, he's got an argument. Look, he's the former president. He's the front runner of the Republican ticket. He's currently campaigning. His opponents are going to be using this indictment against him. Does he not have a right to defend himself? At the same time, he has tremendous influence. There are times that he has, how should I say this, loose lips. And if he writes something about a potential witness or a piece of evidence, that could damage the integrity of the case, or in a worst case scenario, it could put the witness in danger and may chill the witness from coming forward and cooperating with the government. So that's a real consideration that the court has to think about. And Jesse, the judge warned Mr. Trump against trying to intimidate or seeking to influence witnesses. How big of a concern is that, citing what you just talked about uh, with this potential uh, protective order? Okay, so a number of things here. I would say that's a big deal in any case, but it's also a big deal in this case, particularly with what the former president is charged with. I mean, January 6th, the comments that he allegedly made that day are a component of this indictment. So it's a bit ironic, you know, that he's that he has to be careful with what he says based on the fact that he is charged with what he said. Now, Generally speaking, if someone were to violate a protective order, meaning they discuss material that they're not supposed to, they could be held in contempt of court. That could be a fine. That could be an admonishment. In severe cases, that could be pretrial detention. In other words, him being thrown in jail. I don't anticipate that punishment would amount here because this is the former president and he is running for uh, president in 2024, but he should not and try every which way to violate the court's order if there is a strict uh, protective order put in place. Mr. Trump's attorney made the talk show rounds this past weekend. Um, is that in one way, as the prosecution is talking about setting up a scene and trying to try the case in the media? Because prosecutors asked for the protective order after uh, Mr. Trump posted on Truth Social writing, if you go after me, I'm coming after you. And his campaign made it clear that that's political speech and was in response to special interest groups. What is your thought on those two? Well, first of all, if I was Trump's lawyer, I would advise him against saying that. It's that kind of rhetoric that arguably got him into trouble. But look, his attorney, um, a lot of times attorneys won't litigate this case in the media, but this is a very unique situation. This is Trump is fighting this both in the court of law and in the court of public opinion. So it's equally as important that he gets his message out. Now, there could be a concern that the more this is litigated in the media, it could also negatively affect a potential jury pool. Having said that, find me somebody that doesn't know about this case or doesn't know what's happening with the former president. So I think that this is going to be really an interesting order to determine what Trump himself is going to post and talk about with respect to this case and also his attorneys. You know, I think this is going to be a case where they're going to be able to defend themselves. They'll be able to make their arguments to the public and say this is a First Amendment issue. The president wasn't intimidating anybody. This wasn't a conspiracy. It just becomes a question of how specific they can get 
with the prosecution's uh, with the prosecution's evidence. And thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.